This is Brandon Lee with BetFirms.com here with your 2012 Georgia Tech football predictions. Head coach Paul Johnson has successfully brought over his triple option offense to the ACC to quiet all the critics he had at the time of his arrival. Johnson owns a 34-19 record in his four years at Georgia Tech, including an ACC title in 2009, which was the program's first since 1990. The Yellow Jackets are coming off an 8-5 season, finishing tied for second with Virginia in the Coastal Division. With 13 returning starters, the Yellow Jackets are primed to compete for the Coastal Division title in 2012. Both Virginia Tech and North Carolina stand in their way, but this team has the talent to make a run at them. Here is a look at their personnel on offense and defense, along with my prediction on where Georgia Tech will finish in the ACC standings. Georgia Tech featured the second best offense in the ACC last season. The Yellow Jackets averaged 34.3 points and 459 total yards per game in 2011. This unit figures to pick up right where it left off last season with seven starters returning. Senior quarterback Tevin Washington returns after completing 49.3% of his passes for 1,652 yards with 11 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Washington also led the team in rushing. The Yellow Jackets welcome back their top two running backs and junior David Sims and electrifying senior Orwin Smith. This team rushed for 316 yards per game last year, and these two are sure to have even bigger production in 2012. The biggest loss on offense is wide receiver Stephen Hill. He averaged a jaw-dropping 29.3 yards per reception and was taken in the second round by the New York Jets this offseason. The Jackets will be starting a pair of sophomores at wide receiver, and this unit returns zero career receptions. Johnson will have the best offensive line in his five-year tenure to work with this fall. That's because four starters return up front, including first-team All-ACC right guard Amorgi Uzi. With 83 career starts returning along the O-line, the Yellow Jackets should only improve on their already ridiculous rushing numbers. The Yellow Jackets have progressively gotten worse defensively in each of the last four years. They gave up 26.1 points and 359 total yards per game in 2011. While only six starters return on defense, this unit could put an end to that negative trend considering seven of their top nine tacklers are back. The defensive line will be the biggest concern on this side of the ball. Only one starter returns and the Yellow Jackets lose defensive tackle Logan Walls and defensive end Jason Peters. Senior defensive end Aishan Cross, senior defensive tackle TJ Barnes, and junior defensive end Emmanuel Deke are expected to start in their 3-4 scheme. At linebacker, Georgia Tech returns five players with starting experience, including three who made six starts last year. Leading the way will be junior strong side linebacker Jeremiah Tauchu, sophomore weak side linebacker Quayshawn Neely, and junior inside linebacker Daniel Drummond. Georgia Tech was pretty stingy against the pass last season, allowing 56% completions and 198 yards per game. They returned six of their top eight defensive backs, but it will be hard to match last year's impressive numbers. Junior free safety Isaiah Johnson is the best of the bunch, but senior corner Rod Sweeting and junior corner Lewis Young are good ones as well. Now for my ACC prediction. I have Georgia Tech finishing third in the Coastal Division. The Yellow Jackets are going to be one of the top rushing teams in the land with the talent they have returning along the O-line and in the backfield. I am concerned with their lack of playmakers at receiver because the loss of Hill is a big one. They are also pretty weak up front defensively, but their back seven is about as good as it gets in the ACC. Georgia Tech will have to travel to face Virginia Tech, Clemson, and North Carolina which is the reason I could not pick them to finish ahead of the Hokies or Tar Heels in the Coastal Division.